Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Three of Swords reversed. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. The Knight of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Wands upright. Next, we have the Eight of Cups reversed. And lastly, we have the Page of Cups. Yeah. Okay, the <laughs> Three of Swords is in reverse in the um, for the overall energy. Now, the Three of Swords would have been in the upright position at some point for some of you. The... Um, Three of Swords can indicate a lot of different things. It can be anything from sorrow, sadness, loss, um, hurt feelings even. It could be a breakup, could be anything really. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below. Remember, these are general reads, so it's going to be different for all of you. But for the Three of Swords to be in the reverse position, we you know, were experiencing something. So a lot of you are going through a healing process this week. Um, the, uh, three of swords reverse. This is where the swords start falling out, but then it goes to, it, it reverts back to the two of swords in the upright. When the two of swords is there in the upright position, this is a decision that needs to be made now because we're healing. And as a result of this healing, maybe we have to make decisions. Say for example, you went through a breakup and there was a bad fight and uh, you guys separated and everything else. And now maybe the person comes back or you reunite and um, you know everybody's feeling better, but now you're still sort of healing from said uh, disagreement or breakup. Now it puts you in the two of swords because it's like, well, okay, yeah, I'm starting to feel better, but now I have to make a decision. Like, do I want to continue pursuing in a relationship that, you know, put me in the three of swords or do I, you know, m you know, just say, let bygones be bygones and move on. So there is a level of decision that needs to be made. Even if, you know, say for example, you get betrayed by friends and now it's like, do I go back to those friends? Do, you know, do I do it? Do I not do it? It's that kind of energy. We have to make a decision usually when the healing process is uh, is happening because it's part of the healing process to make those kinds of decisions, right? It's like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have gotten involved with somebody like that, or maybe I shouldn't have, you know, you know, hung out with these kinds of people. But then at the end of the day, it's like, do I, you know, pursue this or do I not? Because I got hurt in the interim when I did. So there's all kinds of things that go through our minds, our emotions, go through all kinds of different levels of, of, um, feelings when we are in the process of healing so it could be for some of you that's what's going on because it is your overall energy right at the beginning of the week we have the knight of pentacles in the upright position this is about is it it's a court card so it could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn sun moon or rising now knights usually bring in some kind of offer for you virgo perhaps you are being offered something or this is you wanting to make an offer because the um, Knight of Pentacles is your energy. So this is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating if you do want to make an offer, reach out uh, for something like an offer on a house or an offer on a vehicle or business or anything like that, or even make a serious offer to someone you're dating. This is, you're in the, you know, you're in the right zone, so to speak here moving in the right direction. But this could be somebody making an offer to you. Now it could be a business offer. It could be a financial offer. It could be, um, you know, an offer of employment, all kinds of things. So you let us know in the comment section. <laughs> Next card up is the Ace of Wands in the upright position. The Ace of Wands, um, Aces always usher in something new for you, Virgo. This is a, a new excitement. Uh, sometimes the Ace of Wands can represent travel. It can be perhaps um, sometimes, you know, with the Aces, it's something, it's an opportunity that comes out of the anti-cosmos. So this could be an opportunity that just sort of strikes you. It's like maybe you win some tickets or perhaps somebody says, Hey, I, you know, I'm going somewhere. Do you want to come with me? I have an extra ticket. It could be something like that. 
Others of you, this could represent a passionate new uh, adventure. It could be something new that you want to start, maybe a new business. It could be a passionate new relationship, perhaps, for some of you. Sometimes this can represent passion returning after a time of, you know, a downturn. It could be that the passion is renewed in your marriage, in your relationship, in your career. Like, whatever it is you're doing, you could have a renewed passion for it. Yeah, it's it's excitement. Definitely wands represent, you know, that movement, that excitement. It's business and enterprise. It's travel. It's passion. So again, remember general read. Take what makes sense to you. Next card up is the eight of cups in the reverse position. This is where we're sort of searching for something, but we're searching for something in the past that once gave us great emotional happiness. Now, sometimes this can represent, you know, going back to the Seven of Cups, it's like there was something back there that really brought me a lot of emotional joy. Now, it could have been a relationship that maybe ended too soon. It could have been, um, it could be a hobby for some of you. It could have been creative pursuits. It could have been a career or a job that you worked at once upon a time and you're like, I used to have a lot of fun there. I really miss doing that. It could be a group of people that you hung out with. Whatever the situation is, you're just like on a search right now at the end of the week. You're just searching for that something that is going to bring you that emotional happiness. Now, like I said, it could be someone from the past or something from the past. You want to just see what's available. doesn't mean you're necessarily going to do anything about it. You're just sort of, you know, poking around. Just you're on a vision quest. <laughs> And the last card you have is the beautiful Page of Cups in the upright position. This is very sweet energy. I love the Page of Cups. First of all, it is a court card. Could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Page of Cups is so sweet. It's beautiful energy. Um, this is where... It could be somebody is messaging you. It could be a water sign, but it could be any, any sign. Sometimes the Page of Cups is when somebody is messaging. They, they could be a little bit shy, and maybe they're just sending you some messages. They could have a crush on you. Uh, this could represent um, maybe one of our children or grandchildren just coming up to us and making us feel so warm and fuzzy inside, uh, doing something incredibly sweet. It could be, for others of you, this is um, maybe an apology. Sometimes the Page of Cups can represent a heartfelt apology. It can, it can be dealing with, you know, messages on the emotional or even creative front with somebody who's not fully, you know, emotionally mature and stuff. So whatever the situation is, Virgo, I'm sure you will know about it. If this is your reading, you'll, you'll know what this is at the end of the week. Very sweet energy, uh, especially coming off of the Eight of Cups in reverse. There's maybe you find what you're looking for on the emotional front. But looks like an interesting week for you, Virgo. I really want to thank you very much for joining me, and I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, share and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye for now.